Welcome. Monique Ely is here. She is the Director of Education and Programs at the Mississippi Children's Museum right here in Jackson. Hey, Monique. Hello, Paul. How are you? I'm well. So happy to have you today. Uh, You've been in your position now for about five years, and you told me off camera that Families and children are so important to you. Uh, Tell me a little more about what you do there at the Children's Museum. Uh, Just a little bit about my role here. It's just primarily to help ensure that the experiences, that the exhibits, that children and families are engaging in when they come to visit us are safe, they're engaging, they're enriching in terms of academic enrichment, um, and that they have an enjoyable hands-on learning experience when they come here. So I just kind of work with my team to make sure that we're providing the ultimate experience when guests come. A big component of what you all are focusing on there at the museum is STEM, getting children interested in science and technology endeavors and That's what this weekend's Mississippi Science Fest is all about. Now tell me what you've been doing there at the Children's Museum and then how those things will play into this weekend's festival. Sure. So STEM is one of the Children's Museum's primary initiatives that we try to encourage children and families to engage in, along with literacy and health and art. Um, We believe that STEM or STEAM, as we like to say, because we incorporate art into everything that we do, um, is 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 present within the museum, is present within the experiences. We have a new STEM gallery here at the Children's Museum called Wonderbox with some amazing hands-on experiences and lessons about innovators in art and art and tinkering and science. And so um, we just want to help prepare children for those 21st century skills that they're going to need in order to be successful and competitive in the workforce. And so we started Mississippi Science Fest six years ago and um, it morphed into something really amazing and now we are in partnership with our other three museums which form the Lafleur Museum District so we have the uh, Natural Science Museum and the Agriculture Museum and the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame and ourselves that have joined forces for five years now and have put on the Mississippi Science Fest and so we're so excited about that event this weekend and we're just looking forward to bringing children and families out. We have some amazing exhibitors um, and we just want to in, in, engage with our children and families and offer them a wonderful experience. I love how all four museums are playing into this event this weekend. 10 bucks gets you in all four museums and there'll be a shuttle running back and forth. It's going to make it really convenient. Now in these these times that we see ourselves in with COVID-19, just do you want to say you, you guys are playing safe this weekend, right? Oh yeah, safety is of the utmost importance to um, to the museum and to the district. Um, we we prioritize children, so we definitely prioritize their safety and their caregiver safety. Um, we are our teams, our staff, and our volunteers are all wearing masks. We are encouraging our guests to wear their masks as well. We will be um, exercising social distance. We will have our exhibitors spaced out. We have amazing outdoor space at all four locations. And so um, hoping hoping for great weather so that we can just spread out on all of our individual properties and provide great experiences indoor and outdoor um, as it relates to STEM. And just quickly, uh, your special guest this weekend is the one and only Temple Grandin. That's right. So Dr. Temple Grandin will be here this weekend. Um, many may know her. She is an animal scientist. She is an um, an advocate and an activist uh, for autism. And so she um, she just kind of speaks on her love for animals, her love for science, and her passion about um, autism and allowing children to be creative and express themselves. And so she'll be here both on Friday and Saturday. On Friday, she'll be speaking at the Ag Museum at 11 a.m. She'll do a QA and a and a book signing. So her total time will be between 11 to 2 p.m. at the Ag Museum on Friday. And then on Saturday, she will be here at the Children's Museum. The schedule will be the same. She'll be speaking and presenting again 
at 11 and then um, a Q&A and then a book signing as well. So we're very excited to have Dr. Grandin here with us. I know for you, families are important. And so as, as this festival focuses on families, we see a, a big focus this weekend on families in Jackson and surrounding communities. So I have to ask you, uh, why is Jackson so important to you and why do you want to make it a special place for families? Of course. Um, well, first, because it is a special place for families. Um, I was born and have been raised and am still residing in the city of Jackson. My family is here. I am raising my son in the city of Jackson. Um, I am very proud of where I come from. And uh, when people ask why Jackson, my response is why not Jackson? We are just as deserving. We are just as great. We have some of the most brilliant children. We have some of the most brilliant adults with great capabilities and great possibilities and um, you know if we don't offer our people these experiences if we don't offer them this exposure uh, then the blame is on us and so it's up to us as adults and as cultural institutions to provide these experiences uh, for our children and for our families again so that they can grow and be successful and be able to be competitive and then hopefully remain in Jackson and just continue to perpetuate that cycle of greatness in our city. Wow, that's an inspirational moment for all the families here in Jackson. Monique Ely, uh, the Director of Education and Programming at the Mississippi Children's Museum. We're going to put links to this weekend's Mississippi Science Fest in our show notes. Monique, thanks so much for being here Thank today. Thank you for having me. Thank you.